In this video, I'm going to go over a great problem uh, that one might see um, if one were to write a math contest. Uh, so this this problem deals with exponential functions, um, and it's also a great problem to look at if uh, if you're taking or you're planning on taking the advanced functions uh, course. So, so let's take a look at this uh, question. Determine the x-intercept of the function g of x equals 12 times f of x minus 6, where f of x is an exponential function of the form f of x equals a times c to the power of x. a cannot equal to 0. c has to be greater than 0. c cannot equal 1. Um, such that f of x plus 2 minus f of x plus 1 is equal to um, f uh, is equal to 12 times f of x for all real numbers and f at negative 1 is equal to 32 okay so there's lots of conditions here given um, first that a cannot equal to 0 C has to be a positive number, so it has to be greater than 0, and C cannot equal to 1. Um, so, when starting a question like this, uh, you have to consider all the information that's given. Um, and so the, the key information that's given is that G of X is equal to uh, 12 times F of X minus 6, and that f of x is equal to a times uh, c to the power of x. Um, and then, of course, these three conditions on the variables. Um, and also, this looks like a key piece of information that's given. Um, and definitely, we're going to have to use, most likely, f at negative 1 is equal to 32. Okay, so I'm going to begin by working with with this expression here. Okay, with f at x plus 2 minus f at x plus 1 is equal to 12 times f of x. Okay, and and then I'm going to uh, see what that's going to get me. So I'm going to use the function and I'm going to substitute into the function um, x plus uh, x plus 2. So that's going to give me um, so starting with with f at x plus 2 minus f at x plus 1 is equal to 12 times f of x. Um, so if I substitute x plus 2 into a times c to the power of x, I'm going to get a times c to the power of x plus 2 and then minus, so I'm going to substitute x plus 1 into f of x. I'm going to get a times c to the power of x plus 1. That's going to equal 12 times um, um, a c to the power of x. Okay, so that's that's what f of x is equal to. So now what we notice is that um, we have an a. So all the terms have an a. And so what I can do is I can factor the a out to get c to the power of x plus 2 minus c to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12 
times a times c to the power of x and now I'm going to cancel the a's okay so I'm going to cancel the a on this side so I'm going to divide both sides by a okay so now the a is gone um, and now when looking at this so the one looking at these two terms this term can be broken up and same thing with this term so the the c to the power of x plus 2 I can write as c to the power of x times c to the power of 2 and this term I can write as c to the power of x times c to the power of 1 okay and that's going to equal 12 c to the power of x now similarly I can factor c to the power of x out from these two terms so if I do that I'm going to be left with c squared minus c is equal to so 12 c to the power of x and now I'm going to also so I'm going to divide both sides by c to the power of x so I'm going to cancel them out on both sides so I'll be left with c squared minus c is equal to 12 and now I'll be able to solve for c so here I have a quadratic equation so I'm going to move 12 to the left side which will give me c squared minus c minus 12 is equal to 0 now I'm going to factor this so that's going to be c minus 4 in one bracket and then c plus 3 in the second bracket it's going to equal 0 so now I'm going to solve for c so c can equal 4 and c can equal negative 3 okay so in this case because we have this condition here that c has to be greater than 0 so we're only going to consider this c value c is equal to 4 okay and we're not we're not going to use c is equal to negative 3 okay so after finding c uh, what we can do next is we can try to find a okay and so what we know um, so what what we know from from this piece of information is that f at negative 1 is equal to 32 okay so f at negative 1 I'm going to substitute negative 1 into f of x so that's going to give me a and then c to the power of negative 1 um, now I already know what c is right so I can um, it's, it's not going to be difficult to find a because I know that f at negative 1 is 32 so it changes to 32 so 32 is equal to um, a over c okay so that's uh, just bringing this down because c, c to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over c um, and so a is going to equal 32 times c okay so I'm just multiplying both sides by c here um, and now I'm going to replace the c with the value that we found for c which is 4 so a is going to equal 32 times 4 and that's going to be 128 okay so a is 128 so we now have we now have a and we have c so the next thing we can do now is work with with this expression and then try to find the x-intercept so working with 
working with this expression so g of x is equal to 12 f of x minus 6 um, I'm now going to replace f of x with with what I know so um, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get um, so g of x equals 12 and now we know that a is 128 and we know that c is 4 so 4 to the power of x minus 6 and now so to find the x-intercept I'm going to have to set this uh, so I'm going to have to set g, g of x equal to 0 so now I'm going to have 0 is equal to 12 times 128 times 4 to the power of x minus 6 um, so 0 is equal to so I'm going to take the 12 in so I'm going to multiply the 12 by by 128 and that's going to give me 1536 times 4 to the power of x minus 6 okay and now I'm going to try to solve for x so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 6 over to the left side so I'm going to add 6 to both sides so 6 is equal to 1536 times 4 to the power of x um, now I'm going to divide both sides by 1536 so I'm going to uh, move over here so so I'm gonna have 6 over 1536 is equal to 4 to the power of x and now simplifying this uh, so 1536 is divisible by 6 and so if I find the simplest fraction it would be 1 over 256 so 1 over 256 is equal to 4 to the power of x and 256 can be written as uh, 4 to the power of 4 so this becomes 1 over 4 to the power of 4 equals 4 to the power of x and now I'm going to bring that 4 to the power of 4 up so I'll make the exponent negative so it'll become 4 to the power of negative 4 is equal to 4 to the power of x and now I'll just drop the base because I have the same base so negative 4 is going to equal x okay so therefore the x-intercept is negative 4 okay or we can write it as so as a point negative 4 and 0 okay so I think this is uh, a really good problem because it um, involves using a lot of different uh, techniques for uh, solving um, exponential functions um, especially this technique here where in a lot of questions you see something like this where you would need to factor um, and change something like c to the power of x plus 2 to uh, c to the power of x times c to the power of 2 and then you'll have to uh, factor the c to the power of x out okay so that's seen in a lot of different questions uh, that deal with uh, solving exponential uh, equations okay so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like 
and also uh, check out some of my other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.